Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations, here to describe for you a possible method of frequency modulating a crystal oscillator. Now, <clears throat> what we have here in this diagram is figure 25-7 from Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. This is a reactance modulator circuit based on a varactor diode. That's this thing right here, a varactor diode. What you get here uh, is uh, a connection that's suitable for a coal pits oscillator, which is a variable frequency oscillator, or VFO. But the key to it is that what we're getting here is a reactance. We are getting a reactance uh, between this point at the top and this point at the bottom. And we can ground this center point right here. And the result is a capacitance that varies, uh, or a reactance that varies. Uh, and that reactance is uh, a capacitance because this is a varactor diode, which is a variable capacitance diode, and the DC bias here affects the frequency by changing the capacitance of this varactor, the junction capacitance. Note the bias on this diode, the voltage bias, and here is where you put your audio in. Now if you do this with a crystal and pull a crystal frequency uh, with a capacitance that varies according to this audio, you are in effect frequency modulating that crystal oscillator. And in order to give you an idea of how to do that, I have provided a link in the description of this video. And that link will appear. Uh, it's a video itself. And it goes into quite a lot of detail about how to get a, uh, how to pull a crystal with a capacitance. So, now that you've watched this video, you can watch that one and perhaps get an idea of how to obtain frequency modulation output from a crystal oscillator. Uh, please note that you're going to get only a very limited amount of frequency modulation. The deviation is going to be very small. And the lower the frequency of the crystal, the smaller the deviation will be. However, you can multiply the frequency of the, out, uh, of the crystal output with a frequency multiplier and thereby get substantial FM from audio input to a crystal oscillator. That ought to do it from here. Uh, from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Amateur Radio, Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, da 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 da